Hey, Crazy Vapor fans. Happy New Year. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been on here. Um, I don't know, I've just been kind of tired. Uh, I got a good Christmas present. I got a, uh, uh, my, my, uh, good friend Travis. He, uh, bought me a pretty much complete set of, uh, leatherworking tools. Um, I still need to get some, uh, uh, letters and number stamps eventually, but, uh, um, been about 35 years, 30 years, somewhere in there since I've done any leather work, and you can see, there's my name there, I'm not a very good painter, oh, it's upside down, not a very good painter, uh, I'm tooling leather, I'm still not very good at it yet, but catfish hook, uh, Kind of see it. I should have colored it some more or something like that. But, uh, it was my first work in about 30 years. So, uh, another project I've done to, uh, hold my, my little hole punches. I made this little sheath here. Or, uh, uh, I'm not sheath, uh, pocket deal. And the snaps that I bought were... Or, uh, not that great, but, so I just went ahead and riveted it, that way I can hang it up on the wall when I'm done with it, but, uh, right now I'm working on a drawstring pouch for my, uh, buddy that bought me all the tools, he's, uh, out of town visiting family, so I'm kind of making this as a surprise, you can see this fits all of my tools here, for all of my with the hole punches. You can see it fits in pretty well. Anyway, I'll uh, kind of show you what I'm doing here. Um, I went all the way around this on three sides. I'm almost about halfway done on the third side. Uh, just as a warning, if you're wearing headphones right now, it's going to be loud here in a second. Got him? All right. So, I got a piece of wood that I'm using right now. I can't afford a, one of them fancy mats or anything. But I'll just show you. You always want to make sure you come through with this. You don't want to, to uh, not go all the way through. Because when you go to stitch it, it's going to be horrible. And, uh... And that's why. Maybe I'll build me a uh, little holder out of leather for my phone. Something that'll stand up. I also got to remember, since it's wood, I'm going to go through. And I don't want to get... No, I didn't get it on Mommy's table. Oh, my Lord. That would have been horrible. I'd be out in the back shed doing this. It was cold. Now we're going to fall again. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, I'll get the stitching set up for you. And we'll do just a little bit of stitching that I've seen online. Um, Leathercraft is a very, very uh, neat hobby to get into. Like I said, I'd done it 30 years ago. My mom had this huge set. Uh, hang on just a second. I'll kind of show you some of her work. This is probably done around 35, 40 years ago, something like that. But, uh, you can see it's painted. Uh, my mom hand stitched all this. I uh, drew all this by freehand. So, her name was Carol Monette. That was her first and middle name. So, she has her initials up here. So, you know, when I was a little kid, I had this kind of stuff to live up to. And, uh, I don't have any of my old work that I used to. Here's a little wallet and coin holder and stuff like that. Stuff that you get in the kits. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and pound the rest of this out. And then we'll go ahead and, and I'll get my stitching set up. Um, also, uh, my buddy bought me another tank. 
the other one the lid fell off and it just leaked everywhere and not hit right. So I got a new tank and I made my own vape band right there. You can see it's made out of leather instead of silicone. But uh, I'm in the process of trying to figure out how I'm going to... I already took the frame off of this. Uh, the old... This all had holes in it and everything. I'm trying to figure out how to get my logo on here. I need to get me some more vegetable tan leather. I didn't buy none. I bought this pre-made chromium leather. So it's, you know, it's good to make little stuff out of, but you can't really tool with it with the hand tools. If it had a big old press and everything, it'd work, but we're trying to figure that out still. So no, let me pause this and uh, I'll get back to you here pretty quick. Alright, I'm back. Okay, uh, let me put some of this stuff up. One thing I've learned while you're stitching, make sure to have as few tools on the table as possible. Because, uh, Murphy's Law says that, uh, you'll get tangled up in it. So, I haven't been able to afford even the $10, uh, uh, little press that they have for, uh, uh, stitching. So, basically, you just make your own. So, what I've done here, two vice grips, two chunks of wood, Put them together, put them on both sides so it'll stand up and you have something to work with. But, uh, I won't be showing you how to stitch because I've been watching YouTube videos on how to stitch. And it's a, uh, kind of a hard process to remember again. Um, let's see if I, if I, uh, show you this one here. Okay, you can see the stitching on it. I just did this by memory. Then you look on the back side. Yeah, if uh, one stitch goes out, they're all going to come out. So, that's why this is kind of a uh, first time project here. That's how it looks on the back. But I kind of like how it does the sideways stitching. But... This bag right here, you'll be stitching from the inside out, so you screw it up a little bit. Uh, you're not going to see it, but also you want to make the uh, uh, two needle stitch, so if one stitch breaks, uh, I've been told that at least the stitch will stay in place longer than if uh, you, know, you had a single needle stitch. So... Y'all have a great day, and I'm going to probably spend the rest of the day cussing and moaning on these stupid stitches. Probably have to research YouTube a little bit again to see how exactly I'm going to be doing this again. So, y'all have a great day. Um, peace out. Happy New Year. And y'all be kind to each other.